The iPhone 4, born as an innovative and beautiful looking device in 2010, abused and finally executed by iOS 7 in 2013. And even though if the iPhone 4 users thought that there couldn't be anything more pain in the ass than using an iPhone 4 in 2013, there is, of course there is, and that is using an iPhone 4 in 2020. But before I come to the fails and flaws, I want to give you an overview about the iPhone 4 back in the days. As I already mentioned, the iPhone 4 was a very innovative device. Instead of coming with an unstable and scratch addicted plastic backside like the predecessor, it came with a glass backside. And on that backside you could also find the improved 5 megapixels camera. But also the front side looked different. Next to the new, much better looking retina display, it was the first iPhone which came with a front camera. Even though the photos looked like you took them in a blizzard. But along with many design changes, it also came with a new hardware, like the new Apple A4 processor chip, which made the iPhone 4 much faster. Well, at least till iOS 6. And then, in 2013, iOS 7 was released. And for some reason, Apple thought that it would be a brilliant idea to give iPhone 4 users access. Spoiler! It wasn't. The iPhone 4 on iOS 7 was absolutely overstrained. Just to exemplify that, to update an iPhone 4 to iOS 7 is similar to employ an in a wheelchair sitting 95 year old man in a coal mine. And the results are the same. You're upset and try to get a model from a newer generation. And that is the sad story about the iPhone 4. And to go one step further, we want to take a look at the iPhone 4 in 2020 today. Alright, I own two iPhone 4, a black one and a white one. Because of equal rights reasons. And these two devices have a big advantage. They didn't explode like my iPhone 4S. However, at first I want to show you something that I call the pain in the ass disease of old iPhones. And here is how it looks like. Can you see that? Or that? Or that? Or maybe that? To sum it up, no convenient apps, no games and no English improvements for my videos. With one exception. If you downloaded the app on a newer iPhone or back then, you might be able to download an older version. Like I did with YouTube. Now I can watch my favorite YouTube channel on this beautiful, gorgeous 3.5 inch display. Even if that was irony, I guarantee you this channel is enjoyable on every device and every display. You should really check out this iBangler channel. Anyway, maybe we will find some pre-installed apps that still work. Like the weather app. According to the weather app, it's 26 degrees Celsius outside. Okay, seems minimally inaccurate. Let's take a look at the weather app of the white iPhone 4. According to this device, there is no weather in Berlin right now. And surprisingly, they are both wrong. Okay, I have to admit that I only showed you the worst things about the iPhone 4. But I would have shown you the good things also, if I would have found some. Just a joke. You can still take photos, listen to music or surf the internet. That makes absolutely no fun at all because it is slow as hell. But technically, it's possible. For example, look how beautiful the Apple website looks on an iPhone 4. Yeah, I hope you've learned something in this video. If that is the case, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. See you next time, hombres. Adios.